Hi guys, it's Evelyn from Twin Flames 3344. I did a quick read for you earlier, but I didn't get any oracle cards done during that read, which I usually do for you. So I thought I'd come in real quick and do some oracle cards, but I also wanted to show you um, a couple sand art pictures from yesterday and the day before, or actually it was today, early morning today and then early morning yesterday. I thought you'd appreciate them. Um, for those of you who don't know me, my channel is uh, TwinFlames3344.com and my email is the same at gmail.com and uh, I do uh, Twin Flame coaching with cards and I also do Reiki and I write music and um, also do numerology. So if you're interested in any of my services just go to my website or see below. I have a lot of my pricing and stuff below. Um, but here's the uh, the sand arts that I wanted you to see. I'll show you yesterday first. Hold on. Um, this one was just really beautiful. Let's see if I can get the right one. Okay. So this you literally see, I'm going to show it to you as close as I can, um, you see off to the left is an arm, it's like the forearm of the Divine Masculine, his hand and thumb is holding a piece of paper, okay? It's showing the energy of the Divine Masculine, you know, really wanted to, wanting to say, to say something, you know, he really wants to get it out finally, okay? So, you see that? The hand holding the paper? Okay, and then you'll see like there's an angel right in front of it. Oh, what was that? Huh, now it's giving me trouble. Well, that was, that was not early morning today, that was yesterday's, okay? And then today's was kind of funny. So I thought I'd, I'd give you something humorous today. I think we all need it today. There you go. So I think this is the one, yeah. So this is a picture of the Divine Masculine resting. <laughs> Hopefully it'll capture it okay for you. I hope you can appreciate that. Okay, so the Divine Masculine at rest with a Woody. Okay, representing the sexual frustration during July and August. I thought you'd like that. Um, and definitely needed some comic relief. I don't know what energies are going through, but they're torturous for me. I purged again today. I went out running and I cried the whole run. So if I look kind of crappy that's why um, but I wanted to pull you guys some oracle cards um, I'm feeling better now and so I just want I wanted to bring it up to you guys because if anyone's experiencing this uh, something similar it may just be energies passing through you it may not be you it may be your twin and it may be some uh, collective stuff that needs to be cleared right now okay so I'm going to for the Divine Feminine and Divine Mask, and I'm going to pull a card each, okay? And today is July 17th, so it's the star, and the, uh, the day adds up to, I think it was 35 today, yeah, which is the nine, the nine of wands, which is, you know, difficult energy. It's about, you know, your, your, all your wounding and guarding yourself and then tomorrow is going to be the ten of wands so um, it'll be probably a little tough energy again tomorrow but then the day after that I guess that's Thursday is the king of cups energy so that'll be a lot nicer okay so you have something to look forward to so for the organic divine feminine twin flames organic divine feminine twin flames organic divine feminine twin flames okay we have lady Portia 
And Lady Portia is number 32. 32 is the Six of Wands. Okay, so that's good news. Um, it's a five, so that's of change and expansion. It's the two of the feminine energy, uh, the balanced, the, the being able to see both sides of the situation, and then the three on the outside of joy and being social and coming together. It says, Lady Portia is known as the goddess of justice. As a lord of karma, she tempers justice with mercy and balance. In order to act with these golden qualities, you must let go of your own projections and prejudices and see the whole picture. When you receive this card, Lady Portia is calling on you to review an aspect of your life or relationships to bring it fully into the fifth dimension. Be generous hearted, open minded and fair and step aside from judgment and then your ascension path will be showered with gold. And the affirmation is, I am fair minded, open hearted and non-judgmental. Okay? But don't get down on yourself if you are somewhat judgmental because we are still human so we do get there. Um, Yeah, but it's always trying, trying to see um, both sides of the situation or all sides of the situation, right? But the truth is the truth. Sometimes people have different perspectives on the truth. So it's about bringing all of that together and allowing everyone to have their own perspective and then maybe talking about it so they can bring those perspectives together. So for the Divine Masculine, the Organic Divine Masculine Twin Flames, what is the advice today on this July 17th, 2018? Okay. We have Paul the Venetian. Okay, Paul the Venetian is number 37. So I told you that's the King of Cups on Thursday. Um, King 37 is the one. It's a masculine energy. It's the seven of spirituality on the inside with that very happy-go-lucky social three on the outside, okay? Uh, the, the great master, Paul, is Kohan of the third ray. He lifts people's spirits and sets their souls free to create beauty and inspiration through music and art, and also in practical ways. This card encourages you to communicate your essence by writing, painting, or in any heartfelt manner. Call on Master Paul to help you express your visions, and he will co-create them with you. These visions will hold such light that people will be touched by them, therefore accelerating the plan for Earth. Paul carries the flame of liberty and is helping to set you free. And the affirmation is, I express myself creatively and harmoniously. So it's calling the Divine Masculine to go more into his Divine Feminine and, and show his creativity more. The Masculine Energy is also creative but it's, it's calling the Divine Masculine to go within more and, and express their, their more artistic side. And to free yourself, you know, don't feel any limitations to your expression because of what other people might think or, or what our templates are from the past. Just be, just be and do you. Okay, so for the Divine Feminine, Organic Divine Feminine Twin Flames, this is for the Organic, Organic, I can't talk, Organic Divine Feminine Twin Flames, what is the advice? And we have Wisdom. Actually, uh, angels wanted to come up too. Okay, so we have Wisdom. It's the unicorn. And it's all white. And the angels. Okay, so reminding the, the Divine Feminines that, you know, you've been doing this a while, most of you, and you have the wisdom within yourself, maybe to call on unicorns and angels, to remember they're there, to call them in, that you have to call them in if you want their help. And just to have more, you know, to have, remember to have faith in yourself. Remember who you are. And for the Divine Masculine, the Organic Divine Masculine Twin Flames, 
Organic Divine Masculine Twin Flame. Whoops. This is for Divine Masculine Twin Flames, Organic Divine Masculine Twin Flames. Oh, that one wanted to come out for sure. I had to chase it down. Authority, authority figures. Okay. So there may be some court decisions and also mothers coming out. Okay. So I know that mother energies have been coming up with some others. Um, the bottom of the deck is spouse. Okay. And this is the past life deck, so it could have to do with past life relationships and spouses and mothers and authority figures. But there's definitely a gavel here, so there may be some court um, situations being settled for the Divine Masculine. Maybe some things having to do with the mother. Um, so it could be divorces, it could be contracts, it could be businesses, it could be custody, um, all sorts of things of that nature. And just authority figures in general, okay? So it could be some kind of settlement between you and a boss or you and a coworker. And the spouse, the spouse at the bottom of the deck, so there could be spouse and mother, the divine masculine's mother, could be the, the spouse's mother and the spouse who are in this court situation with them now, maybe feeling like uh, maybe the Divine Masculine feeling like these feminines in their life have been dominating over them. And they basically need to take back their, their, their power. This is the um, Journey of Love. Journey of Love. And this will be for the Organic Divine Feminine Twin Flames. Organic Divine Feminine Twin Flames. What is the advice? And we have Shakti. And I'll pull it in a minute. I mean, I'll read it in a minute. I'm going to pull the Divine Masculine first. But Shakti is 19. Okay. You see it? And 19 is the sun. And this looks very much like the sun. It's very orange and yellows and reds. And Shakti is um, the feminine energy, but we'll get into that in a minute. For the Divine Masculine Twin Flames. Divine Masculine Twin Flames. Divine Masculine Twin Flames. What is the advice for the Divine Masculine Organic? Divine Masculine Twin Flames. And we have the Void. Okay, so for the Divine Masculines, it's number 40. Um, the Void. So coming back to zero point. So really learning to um, bring yourself back. And the bottom of the deck is it's actually heaven, which is number 70, in case you guys are interested. So I'm going to read you 19 of 40, 19 for the feminines and 40 for the masculines. Okay. So number 19 is Shakti for the divine feminines, uh, twin flames. Shakti is divine feminine fire. She is the body awakened with light. She is the divine feminine and she is the kundalini, the energetic force that moves through us, triggered by love that leads to enlightenment of our body. With our kundalini coming alive within us, we cannot remain as we once were. It is impossible. We may try to lead the same lives, be the same in our relationship patterns, and perhaps even behave properly, but it simply cannot be done. Soon our disguise slips and people wonder, what happened to her or what's gotten into him? We are on fire with the divine and we cannot help but misbehave. We are no longer satisfied with trying to be the good child or fearing we are the bad child. And spirits connecting with me. We know ourselves instead to be the divine child. That child divine lives fully and with passionate fire, not doing things the way they're supposed to be done perhaps, but living instead from the heart. Our body may ache as we burn through old pain, and sometimes the light within may seem so bright it blinds us for the moment. But that will pass, and the misbehaving will suddenly be seen for what it is. The old rules just don't fit anymore. You don't plug a globe capable of illuminating the whole world into the bedside reading lamp without burning down the house. Best to let the light shine as it was meant to in the big arena. Shakti is making your light grow, beloved. Be prepared to shine brighter. So this is for the Divine Feminine, okay? You come to a certain plateau maybe, and maybe it's time to you know switch up again. Now we're expanding again. We've had some time to integrate, and it's time to go brighter now. 
This oracle brings you a message. You're going through energetic shifts in your subtle anatomy. Because your energetic or and your energy body and physical body have already begun to merge with each other, the energetic shifts will shifts will affect your physical body too. It is always wise to consult a healthcare practitioner, but at least some of your physical challenges at the moment, from aches and pains to tiredness, are due to this energetic awakening. Take responsible action as you feel necessary, such as tending to your physical well-being with health care that feels supportive, but also remember to rest, get some time in nature, and nurture your body as a spiritual awakening into greater light. So all these downloads that we're receiving are expanding us more and more, so each time we are able to receive more light. I have watched you hurting and felt helpless to make life better for you. Loving you is having to make choices to let you be who you are, who you become, and all the who's yet to come. To love you is to ride the waves of your passionate embrace of life, ever mindful of the change in the wind and the occasional tempest brewing. Loving you is having to make choices, knowing it isn't my fault. I can still choose to take it personally or just be while I listen and watch you unfold. Your heart is a beauty I will always love and spirit connecting with me. It is the part of you that hasn't changed much over time. When I lie beside you and hear you breathe, when I touch your skin, or caress your hair. You are timeless, and I choose loving you. Okay, so that's for the Divine Feminine, and Spirit was still connecting with me. Okay, so 40 is the Void. This is for the Divine Masculine. So this is all about the Void and coming back to zero point. At the end of every cycle, and the beginning of every cycle, there's a moment of transition. It may last for any amount of time, a moment of feeling or many years of deep inner work whilst feeling displaced. The transition may require patience to endure the absence of knowing, the lack of certainty about who you are and why you are here on this planet. A void may open up between one moment of meeting with your lover and the seemingly endless stretch of time, even if it's only days that seem as though they are eternal in duration, as you wait to reconnect again. Yet if you can accept that entry into the cosmic void as preparation for your next cycle of manifestation, if you can accept that darkness is holding you with love, not with unfeelingness, then you can relax and let the preparation be what it must be. Then you can be well equipped for the next steps forward on your glorious divine adventure this lifetime, meeting the beloved, whether divine or human lover, in a fresh new moment, excited, open, and curious always. This oracle brings you guidance. There are parts of your own process unfolding that you simply cannot know about yet. It will not always be this way, but for now, it's most helpful for you to only deal with what's immediately before you. All else will be shown when the time is right. There is growing to be done, and then the void will bring forth the next step on your path to meet you. You do not have to worry. You do not have to search. Be present. Be patient. When you can do something, do it. And when you cannot, just be. Your time will soon come. If you're holding a question about relationship, surrender it to the void and let it become what it must be according to spiritual wisdom and love. And the poem reads, and Spirit's connecting with me, a coming together, a blending of one, where understanding spans the space between separation, as, between, and separation disappears to form anew. Okay, so it's for the Divine Masculine, um, trying to teach you to be still and patient and to allow the universe to do the work for you instead of you tr trying to control the, the situation. Okay. It's allowing that there's, it's time for you to integrate and just uh, take it in and just trust. You know, when you feel inspired, then yes, you can go forward. If you get guidance to go forward, go forward. But if you don't and you're not sure what to do, don't do anything. Go within. Meditate, take a walk, do something fun that you like to do that gives you pleasure, okay? Don't stress about it, though. You know, for the Divine Masculine, you guys always want to be able to control things by doing, 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 being busy so you don't have to think or feel. And this is that time to learn to feel, that it's good to feel. Not so great to think all the time, right? So you're learning to transition into your heart space. So that was good, very peaceful. Um, you know, hang, hang tough, you guys. I know that the energies are a bit tough right now. I have been on and off feeling stress in my heart. You know, really uh, kind of sharp pains. And um, 
Oh, that was this was very interesting. I, I, uh, I think it was yeah yesterday. Um, I was feeling um, some sharp pains in my in my uh, sacral area. You know, for women, you know, pre-period pains. I haven't had a period in a while, so that was kind of interesting. Um, but I was getting really like pains, like uh, you know, before I would get my period before. And I was laying outside, and I was really uncomfortable lying down. I could it was it wasn't like normal. It was just something very painful, and I couldn't get comfortable. And when I would, uh, you know, palpate my uh, my intestines, there was pain there. So I figured out maybe it was just some something I didn't digest well. But um, I felt my urethra a little bit, so I was wondering if maybe I was getting a UTI. And I'm like, no, I'm not getting a UTI. I'm sure it'll pass. And then an hour later, my daughter called me to tell me that she had a UTI. So uh, you, we are definitely picking up on those close to us. So be aware of that, that not everything you're feeling is yours. Um, you're becoming like, uh, uh, a kind of like, a what's the word I'm thinking of? Maybe like a sieve, just, um, that other people are filtering filtering through you and your energy. So be aware of that. Um, pay attention to all the feelings in your body. If your body's hurting or uncomfortable or just trying to get your attention, it's trying to get your attention for a reason. So bring your intention to that spot and go into it and feel into it, love it. Ask it what it wants to tell you and uh, see what you get, okay? So if you need anything, give me a holler, send me an email. But in the meantime, um, you know, be happy. Uh, do what you can to stay in your joy and do stuff for you. Okay, don't focus on your twin. Focus on you and your happiness, okay? And uh, make sure to drink lots of water and exercise. Um, with all the physical uh, frustrations and things like that, um, we really need to get into a little more exercise, taking walk, you know, do what you can do, depending on what your situation is. Um, but make sure to, you know, take care of your body, get enough rest, drink plenty of water. Um, and a reminder for people who do get UTIs, because it's very common, make sure you drink more water when you're taking antibiotics. They're very hard on the kidneys, okay? Especially like Bactrim and things like that. Okay, so rise and be love, you guys. Have an amazing week. Bye.